Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to answer some questions from grade eight maths final exam. This is our revision one. Today we are going to answer questions from section A and then next video B and other one C will carry on like that. For each question, you are going to have 20 seconds to try. So let's start. Question one, we are going to calculate X. So your 20 seconds starting now, please try first. How can we get X? It's easy one, final exam. As you know, final exam starting with easy questions. So these are section A questions. Okay, let's start. Solve for X. 3x plus minus 5 equals 7. And then what is x? We are going to calculate now. Let's calculate 3x minus 5 equals 7. What is our step 1? So we should carry on step by step. First of all, you can take 5 from here and put it other side. And it's changed to positive. As you know, we'll change to Positive, how can we write it now? 3x equals 7 plus 5. All right, it is step 1. And then 3x equals 12, 7 plus 5. And divide by 3 each, because we have 3x multiply now here, and divide by 3 each, and these three cancel each other. Our answer is x equals 4. Done. I hope you have okay correct answer also. All right. So please try first. We are going to next question now. Question two is coming now. Let's clear all and then let's continue with next question. Another question. We are going to calculate x. Please try. Let's see how we are going to get it. 2 times 2x now, plus 3 equals 16. Your 20 seconds starts now. 2 times 2x plus 3 equals 16. One level up, it is another question. Question 2. Today we have five questions, guys. So question two, your time's up. It is my turn. And let's try together. Okay. I hope your answer is ready. And then you are just correcting your answer. All right. So let's continue. Now, step one, what we are going to do, first of all, just this two multiply with 2x multiplied by 3. Okay. 2 times 2x, what we are going to get? 4x. And 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. This is our step 1 equals 16. Now it is just like question 1, right? From now, what I'm going to do, I will take that x. Okay. This x, 6, sorry, not x, 6 is going other side. It was positive, it's going to be negative. So 4x equals 16 minus 6. I hope it is clear. So 16 minus 6 and 4x equals 10. From now, what I'm going to do, divide by 4 each. Divide by 4, and this 4 cancel each other, and x equals 10 over 4. For 10 over 4, when you calculate, if you want, you can simplify. Divide by 2 each, 10 over 4. Divide by 2 each, and you are getting 5 over 2. What is 5 over 2? 2, comma 5. Answer is... 2,5. That's our answer. X equals 2,5. If you put 2,5 for X times by 4 and add 6, you are getting 16. Or put it here for 
2.5. 2 times 2.5 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. And 2 times 8 is 16. Question 2, done. Let's continue with next question. Please try question 3 now. You have 20 seconds to try. Okay, let's start. Please try first. Another easy question for you. Two, one, and time's up. Okay. Your time's up. So question three, we are going to answer together now. 4x and minus 32, we are going to write. Just like question two, what we are going to do, guys, first of all, this four times by x, like this, so four times x and four times eight. Let's try. Maybe we can change our color now. So four times x, we can write four x and minus four times eight is 32 equals 12. And this 32 is going other side, but this negative will be positive, all right? So 4x equals 12 plus 32, all right? And then 4x equals, 4x equals, when you add this to what we are getting, 44. Divide by four each, and this four cancel each other. X equals 11, done. Another is if easy question, done. I hope your answer also correct. Let's continue with next question. Question four is coming now. Let's clear all. Now we are changing question, not getting X already. Now they are asking a simplify question. Question four, you are gonna simplify this, this question. Yeah, you just you simplify. You are not calculating X now. Just simplify it. So your 20 seconds start now. Please try first. Maybe you can get your example and Write it first, try first, and then you can come and see answer. Your time's up. Let's continue with answer now. Okay, so what can we do now? For this side, okay, let's start. Let's answer now. This two times by three X first and this two times by four. All right, this is our step one. So let's say equals all together, all of them equals two times three, six X. And two times four, negative still here, but you can just say like this is positive. So positive times negative is negative eight, two times four. All right, and then, this negative five times by x and negative five times by plus x. So negative five times plus x, if there's no sign, so you can say plus. So negative times positive is negative, negative five x. All right. And then negative times positive, you are getting negative also. Five times two, 10 negative 10 all right and then you can make your group which one with x you can just write this one here 6x and 5x you can make your group 6x minus 5x all right and negative 8 negative 10 so what we know first of all i can just do something with x, which one with x, six. So I have plus six and minus five. How can I write it? Plus six minus five 
x. Okay, we said plus my mistake. Okay, let's change it. Plus, plus, where is it? Huh? Okay, plus 6 minus 5x. And minus 8 minus 10. As you see, they are the same sign. So we can add them. Negative and negative. We are just adding them. Negative 18, we can write. If they are different, we must just subtract from each other, and then we should write bigger one sign. sign. So now you have plus 6 and minus. So you can say five, 6 minus 5 is 1. You can make it simple. But just to understand, you know, next time maybe it's going to be 6, negative 6, plus 5, or negative 6, negative 5. So it's going to be different maybe next time. But just to understand, plus 6 and minus 5. So as you see, different sign we have. What I'm going to do, subtract from each other. So from bigger one, just from bigger to smaller, just 6 minus 5 is 1. And plus 1, let's say, plus 1x minus 18. Because 6 is bigger than 5. So 6 minus 5, and then using bigger 1 sign. So 1 plus, we, do, we shouldn't, we, we, know, we don't need to write. So we can write straight, x minus 18. All right. So that's our answer. So with easy way also, with easy, let's make it simple. Now let's clear all. So for this question, what we are going to do, just to understand, we give it details, but how we are going to answer easy way, 6x minus 8 and negative 5x minus 10 and 6x minus 5x making x and negative 8 and negative 10 making negative 18. All right, easy way. You can just write it down like this. It is much better, I think. Huh? But if you don't get it with more details, we explain. Just done. All right, let's continue with next question. Question five, last question for today. For today, last question is coming. Another question says simplify. Okay, get your 20 seconds to try. Similar question. Next lesson, we are going to carry on with the other one. I will show you which one is coming next. Today's last question. Please try first. All right, time's up. Let's continue. Let's answer together. So we don't need any more this one. So, okay, let's say equals. Oops. Okay. Just need to remove this. Yeah. Three times two X. Three times five. This is our step one. Three times two X making six X. Three times five is 15. Plus three times four now, 12 X. And minus, because plus times minus, plus positive, negative, making negative. So four, four times one is four. Remember, if you have positive, positive times positive, maybe you can take note here. Positive times positive, making positive. Negative times negative also making positive. But positive times negative is negative or negative times positive, the same thing, making negative. If you have same sign, if you are multiplying them, getting positive, just like this one, positive and positive, making plus, positive. And positive three times positive five, making positive. But when you come this side, positive times negative, making negative, all right. So remember this sign multiplying. And then we can write straight, make it easy now. So plus six, plus 6x and plus 12x. What I'm going to get? 18x. Because same sign, positive and positive, we are adding them. But when you come this side, plus 15 and minus 4. 15 minus 4 and plus 11. Why I'm writing plus? Because bigger numbers with sign positive. Okay, with positive sign. Bigger number with positive sign. Our answer is 
18x plus 11. We simplify done. And then we have done for today. See you next lesson. For next lesson, what we are going to do, just let's go back. Let's see what we are going to learn. Oops, sorry. So let's just go back. And then next lesson, we are going to study with you geomet geometry questions. And then another video fractions and other word problem statistics. So different topics coming with different video, different lessons. All right, today we answer our questions. We calculate X with question one and two, and then we simplify with question four and five. See you next lesson, guys. Please study well. Good luck for all exams. Thanks for watching. See you next lesson.